Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this eye-catching infographic using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3 and before we start, we need to create a new document. So for that, we go to our bar, to bar at the top, we go to File, Click and File, Click in New and I'm going to use uh, 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi but you can use any dimension that you want and I'm going to leave the rest as it is and make sure that you are not using the transparent background and we click OK and now we have our new document created now before we continue let's go to uh, view click in view make sure that you have set show guides show rulers show context toolbar and show toolbar so we have more or less the same setting you can see your rulers and everything on the side perfect now without any further ado let's get started okay the first thing that i'm going to do, do the first thing that i'm going to do i'm coming here to my tool i'm going to select my donut now pressing on the keyboard command shift click and drag to create a perfectly a proportional uh, donut and then you come here to your navigator to make it easy and I'm going to use 400 uh, pixels um, for that the donuts the radius I'm going to use uh, 75 percent I think it will be fine and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a semicircle uh, let's make sure that is perfectly flat there we go now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit alt on my keyboard and click and drag and I'm going to create just five of these so that one is okay this one we flip it up and this one we flip it up as well now I'm going to put them like this so they create one continuous um, line I'm going to come and arrange this one a little bit now okay so we have now our first part more or less done so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to zoom in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in one and then with my arrow keys I'm going to actually move it to make sure that are perfectly aligned and that, that one there and again with the arrow keys moving so everything is perfectly aligned in any case we are going to do something else as well with this one so moving like this just click uh, press the arrow keys perfect now we have this what i'm going to do is click drag and select everything and i'm going to convert to curves i'm going to select my no tool and i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to start coming here what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on those ones uh, so I select both and now I'm going to select uh, my align um, vertical so they are exactly the same then I'm going to click in the bottom one I'm going to select those two and with the arrow keys I'm going to move it three uh, so basically three pixels up I'm going to do the same with this one click on the alignment make it like this done click those two one two and we do the same exactly the same for the rest so those one there and i'm going to align them first then click this one perfect now what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom out uh, i'm going to my selection tool click select click and drag and select everything and i'm going to click plus on my geometry here at the top so now what happened is we have just only one wavy um, thing there, like a ribbon or something like that. And I'm going to select my field mm, tool. I'm going to gradient and I'm going to click in the uh, one of the points and I'm going to choose something a little bit reddish. I'm going to make something like this. And then I'm going to select the other one and I'm going to select something a little bit more uh maybe a little bit greener or something like that let's do something like this i think that is perfect there fantastic now we have this part now we need the circles in the middle for the circles what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a circle 
uh, that is roughly let me choose one color um, from the first I think it will be fine yes we will see that one later and I'm going to do this one 236 uh, pixels so it can um, fit the in the middle and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create copies of this one using alt so you hit alt click and drag I'm going to select all of them like this then I'm going to select all of them that one that one that one that one that one there and now we go to our alignment and we click in the vertical alignment so all of the centers are exactly the same and what I'm going to do is I'm going to situate this one somewhere there and then click in all of these ones and come in here and on my horizontal so I'm going to click the arrangement there a space so all of them are spaced exactly the same so now I'm going to select all of them back again I'm coming here to color I'm going to double click on the color and I'm going to use something a little bit bluish somewhere there for all of them and I'm going to select something like this I think that this one could be uh, two or four that one will be fine this one we can make it like a 93 and this one there we can make it like a 39 okay now that we have all of them with the same color i'm going to click out and deselect everything and i'm going to click on this one and come in here to my color and only the hue i'm going to move it a little bit to the left i'm going to click on the other one and i'm going to do exactly the same so basically what happened is one color is after the other one but the rest is remains more or less the same so that one there and this one I'm going to make it more yellowish something like that or something reddish I think it's there will be fine perfect so we have that part done now we need to put the numbers in inside so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to do this one uh, more or less yeah something like that and I'm going to type 01 now I'm going to um, my selection tool to my um, text uh, to the font there and I'm going to use for this one Montserrat and I'm going to change it from a regular to medium so I'm coming here and I'm going to put it more or less in the middle and I'm going to duplicate exactly the same doing always the same in the same way you hit alt and you click and drag I'm going to change this one to two and so on and so forth perfect now we take our selection tool and i'm going to click first on the number and then on the circle and go into our alignment make sure that you have last selected so i'm going to click to center uh, in there so first is the number and then the circle there and there, and there we go so perfect we have that part done now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the all click and drag to select everything and I'm going to here to my top and you see the group so now I can move everything together so I'm going to center and put it more or less in there good now we need the text so for the text I'm going to use my frame text tool and I'm going to make something like this more or less and I'm going to choose a font and my font is going to be Comforta and I'm going to choose something like a six uh, pixels, uh, sorry, six point, and I'm going to leave it as a regular. Now you come here to your uh, to your text, and now you right click and you go to insert filler text, and we have all our text now in there. Now what I'm going to do is again I'm going to make uh, five copies or four copies of these ones I'm going to click drag and select everything coming to my al alignment and I'm going to make sure that all of them are level okay no center yet now I'm going to choose also for my text here uh, at the top I'm going to click and drag more or less to have let's say 15 points or something like that I think they will be fine so I'm going to type the, the word text now I'm going to select that one come in here and I'm going to use my candle that is a um, regular 
the font that I'm going to use. Now again the same copies. So I'm going to use Alt and there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all of them and I'm going to align, align them to the bottom. There we go. Now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select always remember your last okay on your alignment first select all these and i'm going to ungroup because i need to uh, select each of the circles so you click on the text on the text on the circle coming here on them on the middle so everything is perfectly aligned and you do the same for all of them always remember first the box then the text and then the circle perfect we finish in there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the background for the background is i'm going to click on my rectangle tool coming to this corner there click and drag to the opposite corner down and I'm coming and bringing that one down coming here my swatches I'm going to choose that color that color there but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit lighter I think it's something that will be perfect so we are almost finished. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this now this text first. My circle and come in here. No, sorry, <laughs> it's fine. It's the text. Come in here on the tool toolbar or the contextual toolbar. Double click on or click on your uh, colors. Come in with the color picker. Select that one. Click on the circle. So we get to the text exactly the same color as the circle. Okay, I'm going to do the same for all of them. Perfect. Now that we are there, I'm going to select all these uh, text boxes. I'm coming here to my color, the font, and I'm going to choose white. Okay, so there we go. Maybe our background, we can make it a little bit more dark. Something like that will be fine. Perfect now the effect that remains is basically putting the shadow on the circle so i'm going to select all these circles and i'm coming here to effect i'm going to use outer shadow i'm coming here so for the outer shadow i'm going to choose my opacity i'm going to put it at 67 per oh, whoopa. 67 percent okay my radius i'm going to put it at 45 pixels that should be fine the offset I'm going to put it at 65 uh, pixels and the intensity I'm going to give it 9% the angle that I'm going to use is 258 something like that perfect and I'm I think we are done oh no what I can do is I can use something on that one as well okay i can give it some with some offset okay something like that i think at 12 the radius just a little bit just a little bit and maybe the angle put it uh, on the other direction something like that fantastic i think uh, that's it for this video uh, I hope you like it. If you did, please remember to subscribe, to give the thumbs up, to share the video. Any comments, please leave them in the section down below. Uh, anyway, like always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.